hello uh, today uh, i'm going to speak about uh, the pedagogy of uh, teaching through research papers so uh, now higher education scenario uh, you know there is a change you can feel uh, uh, there is a change of curriculum uh, after the enactment of the new education policy so uh, uh, this uh, teaching based on uh, research papers because uh, the research uh, skill uh, skills are to be you know inculcated to the students uh, so that uh, post graduation onwards uh, the teachers are focused uh, on uh, you know practical based uh, practical oriented teaching so that uh, the the best solution will be teaching based on research papers published in good journals so every area we will have keywords and uh, based on the keywords uh, in which uh, the curriculum is speaking about some concepts we can download papers and uh, uh, read those papers by the teachers as well as students and we can uh, you know we can give uh, these uh, papers to the students in advance uh, before two three days uh, before the class and uh, uh, the concept is uh, students will be able to read uh, and understand the papers and the uh, teacher will start instructions uh, of a particular concept uh, based on the papers the idea is student will be able to understand the concept as well as the methodology uh, of the paper so there are a lot of advantages so i will discuss uh, the various advantage of uh, teaching uh, you know teaching through research papers so i will go one by one so i will take my slides first of all so uh, this is a uh, uh, research based instructional strategies so orient the pedagogy of teaching through research papers so there is a close relationship between teaching and research uh, so we can find good teachers in academics and also we can find good researchers in academics and what is the connection between teaching and uh, research so you can find that the good researchers are best teachers and they can teach well how they can teach well because they have some practical uh, and uh, academic interest over the subject and so that they can they can be best teachers in the particular subject so you can find that some institute recruit teaching faculties only some institute recruit research faculties the teaching faculties are supposed to teach more uh, and the research faculties you know the institution is aiming at uh, publish papers uh, through that research faculties but we can find the teaching have a lower status than research of course that is uh, happening uh, in the higher education scenario right now across the globe a research is more dominant than teaching so research and publication is more dominant than teaching now uh, we are looking for research rather than the teachers okay the teachers are to be provide the best papers uh, in terms of uh, their career advancement based on their research outcomes so that uh, teacher teachers are also looking for research and they do publish papers so uh, the funding also you know uh, for publications only not for the teaching so now we can find that uh, research is more dominant than the teaching uh, so the students are also interested in you know uh, uh, this kind of instructional strategies so that this pedagogy is very significant right now so uh, many of the uh, good institutes uh, like iim iits uh, and other excellent institutions across the globe they do practice uh, teaching with the help of research papers so is our research helpful for teaching uh, it is proven that good researchers are best teachers and uh, research gives some practical vision skills expertise in a particular area however the problem is researchers are specialized in a particular area they don't know about the other topics because uh, they are interesting interested in a particular area they are specialized in a particular area so they don't be uh, you know uh, like to teach 
all the papers, but they focused on some of the papers. So there are a lot of advantages of teaching through research papers. The first one is practical insight to the students. So every research paper, you know, uh, it's an outcome which was happened after one year or uh, two years or sometimes something like more than two years. So two and a half years hard work, uh, maybe the outcome of a research paper. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, that research paper would be the outcome of some hard work and collaborations. So a lot of insights, practical insights uh, provided by that research paper. So, and also it, it, it improves the research skills for the students. Uh, they are very interested, you know, to research after, you know, when, we, when you teach with the research papers. And also the communication skills and writing skill, uh, because every paper, the good paper, you know, it has been copy edited. And the language uh, used by the paper is very good as compared to the books. And uh, uh, the papers are following APA uh, style of referencing, APA style of structure, etc. So they will be getting a skill of uh, formal writing skills. And they do have analytic skill if, if the data sets used for the preparation of papers. Sometimes we may discuss the methodology and data sets in the class while uh, during the process of uh, learning. And you know, uh, after that, uh, the students may also get in touch with that data and they go download the data set and they will, uh, you know, make extension of the research. Sometimes they can find story from that data. They can find other stories from that data and even they can prepare papers based on uh, the same data uh, because sometimes the original order, the original paper discussed in the class, they have taken one aspect and the students, you know, they can take the other aspects. So uh, uh, sometimes that kind of, uh, you know, uh, the things uh, we can give, the teachers can give uh, as in the form of assignment. So their analytical skill, of course, improve because they are familiarizing with the data, how to download the data, and uh, uh, they can make stories uh, from the data. And then the collaborations, uh, research papers, you know, research papers are the result of collaborations. And you can find uh, five or six authors collaborated and produce a research paper. And students are able to understand their collaborations and collaborated countries. And they can follow the original authors. Uh, and they can, uh, you know, they will be able to familiar with the uh, authors' publications. Some, you know, some students, interestingly, they are, uh, you know, uh, try to follow the, some of the authors. And, uh, they may be, uh, you know, sometimes interested uh, in, in, the, in the specialization of some of the others. So their reading and uh, their uh, other skills are also improved uh, after such kind of teaching through research papers. And the publications of the institutions will improve. The teacher, you know, teacher, uh, you know, uh, teacher will, you know, uh, uh, try to learn through the papers and that kind of experience will help the teacher uh, to, to publish more and the students also publish more and it, it will improve the research skills among the students also. So the thing is pedagogy is starting from downloading of papers by the researchers uh, and uh, teachers as a teacher can download papers from uh, from the concerned websites or Teacher can go to the Scopus of Abosense database and they can search through keyword and find the papers published in a particular area. And uh, uh, the teacher can, uh, you know, uh, take a file uh, which combined of, uh, you know, uh, different, uh, different papers uh, and uh, that make it as a file and uh, that papers can be shared with uh, students uh, before the class and uh, sometimes two days or three days before the class and they have given time to read those papers and during the time you know the teachers and students will be well prepared with the papers and teacher can start instructing uh, the concept uh, with the help of papers and uh, understanding student can be able to understand the methodology conceptualization 
policy implications conclusions etc so uh, each and every aspect of the you know uh, the paper will be discussed in the class okay so uh, this is the way in which uh, you know uh, we can uh, uh, teach uh, we can teach uh, uh, with the help of research papers thank you so much uh,